Bible verses about complaining, part two. Proverbs 17, 22. A joyful heart is good medicine, but a crushed spirit dries up the bones. Job 2, 10. But he said to her, You speak as one of the foolish women would speak. Shall we receive good from God, and shall we not receive evil? In all this, Job did not sin with his lips. Hebrews 13, 5. Keep your life free from love of money, and be content with what you have. For he has said, I will never leave you nor forsake you. Numbers 11, 1 through 4. And the people complained in the hearing of the Lord about their misfortunes. And when the Lord heard it, his anger was kindled. And the fire of the Lord burned among them and consumed some outlying parts of the camp. Then the people cried out to Moses, and Moses prayed to the Lord, and the fire died down. So the name of that place was called Tiberah, because the fire of the Lord burned among them. Now the rabble that was among them had a strong craving, and the people of Israel also wept again, and said, Oh, that we had meat to eat. Philippians 2, 14-15 do all things without grumbling or disputing, that you may be blameless and innocent, children of God, without blemish in the midst of a crooked and twisted generation, among whom you shine as lights in the world. Philippians 4, 11-12 Not that I am speaking of being in need, for I have learned in whatever situation I am to be content. I know how to be brought low, and I know how to abound. In any and every circumstance, I have learned the secret of facing plenty and hunger, abundance and need. Numbers 21, 4-6 From Mount Or, they set out by the way to the Red Sea, to go around the land of Edom, and the people became impatient on the way. And the people spoke against God and against Moses. Why have you brought us up out of Egypt to die in the wilderness? For there is no food and no water, and we load this worthless food. Then the Lord sent fiery serpents among the people, and they bit the people, so that many people of Israel died. Isaiah 53, 7. He was oppressed, and he was afflicted. Yet he opened not his mouth, like a lamb that is led to the slaughter, and like a sheep that before its shears is silent. So he opened not his mouth. Genesis 3, 12. The man said, The woman whom you have gave to be with me, she gave me fruit of the tree, and I ate. Exodus 15, 24. And the people grumbled against Moses, saying, What shall we drink? Thank you, Father, for your true word that is alive today and working in our lives. We thank you, Lord, that you have told us and shown us that we should not complain because we have so much to be grateful for. Lord, please forgive us for complaining and grumbling against you and against the things that are going on in our lives. Allow us to see the good things and to give you honor and glory and praise for everything that you're doing that we can't see. We love and we trust you, Lord, and it's in your mighty name we pray. Amen. If this video has blessed you, please like it and subscribe to our channel. We post videos Monday through Saturday. You can also find us on Instagram at livingtruthco. Thank you for the support. God bless you.